Hello, welcome to vlog number 15 where we discuss the creation of the Mind Palace business idea. Uh, before I get started, I just want to show some awesome drawings from my mother who uh, worked on Madison Square Park in New York City, or at least the redevelopment of it. Uh, another project from her, uh, from another client. And she worked on the Great Lawn of Central Park. So obviously landscape architecture, the natural world is something that's very near and dear to my heart from my, you know, my mother. And I'm gonna share with you some drawings that I've been working on. So here is the most recent updated version of the plan for the Mind Palace addition to our house out here in Tuscany. So here I've basically added more smaller support beams so that the spacing in between really m better mimics the, you know, the size of the individual doors so that it's, you know, not just some random addition that it actually really complements the original architecture, but has a, you know, has its own unique style. Uh, here we have my doggy over here. <laughs> He's very patient and sleepy boy. I'll say hello, Leo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Anyways, all right, back to this. So here is the front elevation, a little 3D axon, and then a sectional, two sectional elevations. So yeah, showing like the front door. Uh, and then here we have, I guess, the methods that water will be circulating through these different uh, risers that will be holding plants. So, you know, we'll have probably vines growing up on top here, herbs over here. And the way it works, the way that this thing is supposed to show is basically how it all spirals down. So water, if you can tell is there. Basically the water would start in this top corner over there, move down, continue down that way and around and around and around until it reaches the back where it would then go back into the, uh, I guess the water storage place because basically the idea is this would be like a compost bin where you, know, you throw food scraps in they ground up, mixed with some water, and the, the idea behind this is that it's essentially extracting the nutrients from the compost so that the water that flows through here is nutrient-rich. It's not just normal water, but, you know, it also provides the necessary nitrogen and other vitamins that are essential for optimal plant growth. So, that, you know, you can have the most delicious food as fast as possible. <laughs> and... I will probably show, I should probably edit it in, but here's like a small detail, like a section of this little planter that has its own little heating pad, an LED light shining on the plants below. And uh, see over here we have a drain. So, you know, the excess water would drain right through. The soil and uh, moisture sensor, so, you know, if the uh, soil seems dry at all, we add more water, so it would be automatically be able to detect if uh, the roots are getting properly soaked. And yeah, then we also have some speakers so that it you know, creates a nice ambient sound. And there are also some other interesting uses for acoustics or you know, sound technology in terms of creating optimal plant growth and pest control, but you know, we'll go over that in a later design idea. So, um, there we go. I mean, that's basically the idea for those planters in the bottom down here would be for, you know, small trees. So citrus plants like oranges and lemons, probably more oranges because I personally am obsessed with oranges. <laughs> and that's like one of my main reasons for wanting this Mind Palace greenhouse because I love them. And it would be amazing if we could just grow them by ourselves because Hey, you know, if society collapses, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be 
left without my oranges forever. I need my vitamin C. What can I say? <laughs> and I'm sure during this, you know, pandemic, a lot of people are feeling the same way. So now I will share with you my last drawer that I just uh, finished up today. Here is basically a 3D structural drawing showing, I guess, basically the metal supports, how all the different beams will be welded together. And yeah, I mean, here is where we underwater. So these are going underground so that, you know, into the footings so that it's properly stabilized. And yeah, I mean, here are the, the metal beams from the exterior facade that we showed over here. Yeah, I mean, just how everything's going to go together, and then we'll probably just lay another thing on top for the terrace, but I would do like the idea of these things kind of flowing up to the top where the hand railing is going to go. But, you know, it'll probably be a separate element. And so here is that. Thank you for watching. And <laughs> Leo wants to say goodbye. Leo want to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>